morning or afternoon, everybody, and thanks for staying with us. If you've seen our previous installment video on footprints and a general overview, this discussion is going to be a little bit about how you can actually make footprints do the things you need to make it do, right? How do you set up those workspaces we talked about in our other video? How do you set up the fields and form data that you would like? Even how do you manage your own workflows inside of footprints so that you can design the kinds of processes that you need? Now, in our previous installment, we talked about the fact that Footprints is web-based, codeless, uses a workspace concept. We talked about the fact that you can manage your incidents and problems and changes and project forms, literally any kind of process that you would like. But to make all of this real, to make it happen inside of Footprints, is really where the rubber meets the road, right? And many other tools on the market will certainly take tickets for you. They will accept tickets, they will gather information for incidents, et cetera. But many of those solutions require that someone be a programmer, that somebody understand Java or somebody understand some other programming language so that you can make the tool do what you want. And oftentimes, those folks who have, you know, that programming knowledge have day jobs. They have things that they do besides maintaining these products, right? So you don't want to have the tool that you bring into your company add a lot of overhead. And that's where Footprints really shines because it does not add a tremendous amount of overhead. In fact, the Gartner statistic shows that between 0.10 and 0.25 of an FTE is all you really need to be able to manage footprints, and that 0.25 of an FTE is during setup of the solution. So extremely small overhead to give footprints to set up and do what you want. And I want to talk a little bit today about how footprints administers. Now, most folks would not show you the behind-the-scenes portions of their solution. That's kind of showing someone how the sausage is made, right? And most people frown at that. But in Footprints, because of the fact that it is so friendly from an administrative perspective, we're not afraid to show it to you. So we want to talk a little bit about how you can administer Footprints. And what you see is our administrative area, administering our workspaces, our forms for managing workspaces, managing your tickets, managing your incidents, problems, et cetera. CMDBs, so that you can manage configuration management items in here, using your CMDB to help you make decisions about upcoming changes, about ongoing problems, about recent incidents, or whatever other decisions you need to make. You can even use your CMDB to capture information about your facilities team so that facilities equipment or other equipment that you need to track can be monitored inside of Footprints. You can use it to capture your address book data. So all the information that you need about who your contacts are, who is calling in today, can all be captured. In fact, Footprints can tie this address book right out to your Active Directory system so that you can pull all of your people from there. And yes, you can use Active Directory as an authentication method too. Footprints comes with a service portfolio so that you can manage all the information that you need from your service catalog or service portfolio perspective. And that means presenting a service catalog back to your customers is just as possible as presenting one to your internal folks. So all of your internal technicians can have a service catalog filled with the services they want, and your customers can be given access to a different service catalog with less of those technical services available. You can also manage your service level agreements all of your service level targets and work targets inside of that service portfolio. And of course, most organizations today are looking to manage their knowledge in a robust way. Footprints allows you to create as many knowledge bases as you would like and segment that knowledge off so that the right articles appear for the right folks. That means your facilities team doesn't have to learn anything about how to manage servers. Your server folks don't have to know a thing about how to take care of HVAC systems. And your customers don't have to learn anything about either of those because they can learn strictly about the knowledge that's important to them, right? things that they would get to use. To make footprints work, to set footprints up, is really done through a point and click interface. We have a series of workspaces that we can use inside of footprints. You can create them yourself, either through a business process, which is like a template, Right? And if we chose to create a workspace through a template, what I did in my instance, I chose to let Footprints create all of these containers for me for change management, for my service portfolio, knowledge base, CMDB. It built all these in about six minutes' time. So all of the stuff that we talked about on our previous video, the screens that we showed for incident management or change management, all of those are actually built automatically by the tool in about six minutes through this wizard. So it lets you get things up and running very quickly and from that point, you can use the point-and-click interface in Footprints to be able to manage the workspaces you've created. You can see I have several of them in my demonstration system here. If we drill into our corporate services area, you can see a visual workflow design. 
is available. It allows me to design the workflow that these tickets may flow through so that I can visually inspect and create the kinds of workflow that I want, passing tickets through an approval status if necessary, allowing tickets to be paused, waiting for customers, and even sending notifications to our customers through business rules if we decided that we wanted to notify them when their request to do something got rejected and therefore closed. So in addition to business rules that are visual in Footprints, Footprints allows us to create literally any other kind of workflow that we want because I can drill into our incident management workspace, for example, taking a look at our incident form. And you can see that underneath our incident form, I can make our form available for customers so they can have a unique experience with Footprints and see the data that's pertinent to them. For our agents, our technicians, so that when they log into Footprints, they can see the information that they need to see. And you can also create a form that would be available for smartphones that aren't necessarily smart, right? For those smartphones that don't have a pinch zoom function but still need to be able to display a web page, Footprints allows even those folks to be able to log in and gain access to the solution. Now, administering Footprints includes the workflow process that we talked about, that visual workflow that we saw. It also means that when we go to change our forms, when we want to present new information back, we can very quickly drill into any of these forms. You can see that it, we have our My Choices field on the form here that we saw in our earlier video with even more choices available. All of the form data that we choose, any field that we wish to create, all can be added by simple drag and drop. So if I wanted to put a particular field on my form, let's just scroll down my list here. I've created a few fields ahead of time already. As so you can see that they're listed here. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these guys. How about the ever popular name that field? I can place this field anywhere I wish on my form, right? Even on this name it tab that I created earlier, dragging and dropping the field onto the form, changing the values, adding default values, including mouse over text. And what this allows us to do is make sure that nobody has to serve up a form, nobody has to be interacting with details on this ticket that you don't want there. You can decide what information you wish to place on this ticket. You decide which information you want to present back to your customers or your technicians. And you can even decide whether these fields are mandatory, required, not mandatory, hidden, available for filling in. All of that is at your fingertips because Footprints, as we noted, is a 100% codeless solution. So creating information for your forms so that your tickets on your forms can look a lot like your incident record over here looks when we create that new incident request, which we did in our other, our other demo as well, our other video, you'll see that, that my choices value is here and all the information on our form is here. If I look at it from an administrative perspective, here's our my choices field, all the rest of the fields on the form, all the other tabs that we created are here as well. So in a nutshell, Footprints allows you to create the kinds of functionality that you want without having to be a programmer. And it allows you to create this functionality through a simple point and click interface that allows you to manage all of the fields that you wish, allows you to manage all of their values, allows you to create forms and workflows for literally any process that you have in your organization so that you can get better control a better handle on what everyone is doing inside the company, and so that you can make the customer service aspect of your organization shine. With that, we're going to talk a little bit about the reasons why you want to be able to make these changes to your forms, the reasons why you want to be able to administer your solution so that you can add the data you want, capture the data you want, and that's really because in the end, you want to be able to report on all this stuff. Right? You want to be able to capture the necessary information so that when you're done delivering the service, you can see how well you did, you can see how long it took, and you can search for any kinds of tickets that you may have captured. We're gonna cover that in our next segment. So hopefully you will stay tuned and listen into the next segment where we discuss searching and reporting in Footprints version 12. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.